Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Right for today's video, it's an unboxing video, clearly. Uh, the beers, well, or are they, or are all of them, uh, are courtesy of Keith from 93 Lumber. Thanks so much, Keith, I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out Keith if you haven't already. I will link to his channel in my description box. It's 93 Lumber, don't ask why. Um, so, I don't know what's in here, except potentially Sean from NerdSense spoiled it for me and said, uh, yeah, we got the same coffee from Keith, so maybe we'll do a joint review. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't get the box from him yet. So you just spoiled that for me. And Sean, of all people, knows how much I absolutely hate spoilers. And... Keith, of all people, knows how much I struggle with tape, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's get this on the floor out of the way. Nice packaging. Well, here we go. Ooh, what's all this? Dear... I hope this is appropriate to read. Dear Mr. No Hype, I hope this box with the note finds you well. Please enjoy the few treats I have included, as well as a sample of bourbon barrel coffee. I've also included a transcript of the original coffee packaging for your record. Sincerely, 93 Lumber. P.S. Looking forward to reviewing the one beer together, unless, of course, you decided to drink it before then. Keith. Keith. Keith, Keith, Keith. Okay. So, apparently, there was a beer that... I consumed and reviewed when I wasn't supposed to by myself. I put beers over here that are for joint reviews, where it's, unless it's like something I keep in the refrigerator, where, which I have a separate spot in my refrigerator also, if anyway. And I didn't put it there. It was from Steven, and it was Treehouse's uh, Amadi, which was a Belgian strong dark ale from uh, memory serves i don't think they called it a quad i think it was a belgian dark strong ale is what they called it and i reviewed it and all of a sudden keith's like we're supposed to review that together i'm like dude we have so many beer like i, I or so many beers i knew like we were supposed to review together uh, one of them's here we just actually did one recently that was on my channel um from river horse uh, good wittens anyway so i felt really bad and then uh, you know keith saw that i felt bad and has continued to bring it up all right so here's the aforementioned coffee. Ooh. Yeah, I could smell that. Like this whole time I've been like, it smells good. And through this bag, you're still getting it. Okay, so I don't think it's Ikea coffee, even though it's an Ikea bag. <laughs> All right, so this apparently... Also, wonderful penmanship. Holy crap, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen his handwriting before. It's about 8,000 times better than my handwriting. All right, so Just Coffee Co-op Bourbon Barrel Coffee. Just Coffee Cooperative has uh, brought back our renowned bourbon barrel coffee for a limited run. This year's batch, aged in a barrel that was acquired from the wonderful folks over at the Driftless, Driftless Glen in Baraboo, Wisconsin, is known for their small batch straight bourbon whiskey. We fill this fresh, never rinsed barrel with our single origin micro lot coffee from Honduras to bring you a brew. Oh, sorry, bring you a brew that is truly like no other. Rolled at the New Glarus Brewing Company and roasted at our facility in Madison, Wisconsin. This makes sense why it was Wisconsin. Uh, this unique coffee is buzzing with sweet bourbon notes with a hint of vanilla. Ooh, the vanilla police in me is excited. Um, drink up, friends, and enjoy this almighty brew. Arr! Our coffee is 100% fair trade and certified organic. In all seriousness, again, like, Keith is just a great guy. Like, he literally wrote all that out. Just like I'd have the, the background information of what was on the packaging. Like, again... Subscribe to his channel. That, that's how good of a guy he is. All right. And now for some beers. Now for some beers. I think we have a carton. And I think I just saw the style. And it has me excited because I have not had, I don't think. Actually, last time I had a carton beer was kind of with Keith. We got it in that Extreme Beer Fest box. Was that 2021, the Extreme Beer Fest box? That they had like that, was it pineapple upside down cake or whatever beer? So 
uh, Balinator, Hopless, whoa, Doppelbach with Blue Moon Coffee Beans, 8% ABV. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Or it sounds awesome, I should say. And then we got a bottle. Similar packaging to myself. Except I'm too lazy to tape it up. What's this? Boardroom Spirits. Nocino. Imperial style aged in brandy barrel with black walnut, cinnamon, orange peel, Tahitian vanilla, allspice, and uh, cardamom. 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 Free will brewing. Oh my god. What a beautiful... I love that artwork. I love that. The beer sounds nuts, but that, I love that artwork too. Wait, so it's free will brewing. 15.8% ABV. But if it's boardroom spirits oh oh my god you just read that duck brandy barrel age oh my god I, i'm i don't know how i'm coming across on camera i'm extremely tired as i'm doing this um i got this friday and i'm just now having a chance to do this unboxing at 5 p.m sunday uh it's just not in a bad way it's just been a busy weekend um and clearly, I'm not operating. I should have had that coffee first. <laughs> I'm clearly not operating on all cylinders. Firing on all cylinders. Can't even say the expression correctly. All right. What's this? Ooh, Boulevard. I haven't had a Boulevard in a while either. Rye on Rye. I've had this. Not, not, I think when I had this beer, it was still in the 750s. Um, whiskey Barrel Age, limited release. 14.3% ABV. And Boulevard. And last but not least, much better, but very good packaging. Again, like the, they're they're individually packaged well, wrapped in a plastic bag, all that kind of stuff. General Tales of Ordinary Madness, three and four year blended Belgian style quad ale. Oh my God! Aged in a variety of spirit and wine barrels. That sounds amazing. Free Will Brewing, bringing it with the beers that sound delicious, and also this awesome artwork. Thirteen point seven percent ABV. I'm not saying people should smoke, as this picture depicts. <laughs> Man, don't forget the coffee beans. Man, I am super stoked. Keith, seriously, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And again, people who are watching, if you don't know his channel, you can clearly see how nice of a person he is. Handwritten notes, plural. Coffee, because he knows I love coffee. And then some beers that definitely sound up my alley. And apparently we're going to do one of these together. Maybe even all four. I don't know. I'll have to reach out and then I'll know where to put these so I don't make the same mistake again. And maybe, just maybe, Keith will let it die. No, seriously, again, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you check out Keith. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.